presence of bacteria and water circuits is inevitable. Microorganisms are either free, known as planktonic, or grouped together in a biofilm stuck to the surface of the pipes. In order to avoid sanitary or technical problems, the level of bacteria must be controlled. To do this, we use different types of biocide treatment methods to kill them. The Water Network QC Manager has to monitor the bacteria level regularly. This approach must be thorough, simple, economic and fast in order to be reactive. In spite of this, the most used detection method is still based on petri dish culture. The time needed to get the results is at least 24 hours and can take up to 7 days, which is too long to be efficient. Furthermore, this technique is limited to cultivable bacteria whose number varies according to temperature, incubation time and culture media. Quantitative ATP metry is an ideal solution, with results obtained in just two minutes. First filter the sample water. Working on large volumes of water gives a representative result. The microorganisms are retained on the filter. We add four drops of extractant solution. Then we back flush the membrane. This solution triggers cell destruction and liberates ATP. This molecule is present in all living organisms. The reagent is then transferred into the Lumi tube. The ATP reacts with the enzyme and produces light. We measure the quantity of ATP using the luminometer. The result is obtained in just 10 seconds. We note the first result, R1, corresponding to the quantity of ATP contained in the sample. Then, to get a quantitative result, we do an internal calibration for each analysis. Add one drop of standard corresponding to a precise quantity of ATP. Then perform a second measurement. Note the second result R2. An app helps you interpret your results directly. Enter the volume and the two results obtained. Simple as that. The app specifies the quantity of bacteria in your water. Thanks to a color code, you're informed if a corrective action is required.